of the IT provides many services to Stanford. In fact, we provide over 250 service offerings to almost 30,000 staff, faculty, and students. These are our customers, and they're people like us. They're trying to solve problems, to reach goals, and our services help them reach their goals. But how do our customers experience our services? Well, they experience them over time in the context of their lives. Their service experience is made up of a set of interactions between them and our business. Interactions like phone calls, websites, in-person assistance, and much more. These interactions take place over the life cycle of their service experience. And over time, they form a relationship with our customers. This relationship and the value we provide to them is the service that we provide. It is bigger than just technology, product, or interface. It is the promise we are fulfilling at each phase of their journey. Supporting this customer relationship requires a cross-functional effort across our organization. At the heart of university IT are what I like to call uh, service support organizations. These are groups we find in shared services like finance, ordering and billing, communications, metrics, business systems, vendor management, business partners, and service design, my team. But they also include organizations around university IT like the Service Desk, ITALK, CRC, ISO, and more. What all these groups have in common is that they all provide some level of support to our service owners and service delivery teams. Teams that are responsible for the day-to-day -day management and delivery of our services to our customers. What does this mean for our customers and for the way that we manage our services? It means that in order to design a better and more consistent experience for customers across our entire portfolio, we have to better design how we work together behind the scenes, create frameworks, methods, and best practices. We have to look at how we're supporting service owners and we have to find better ways to assist them in assessing and improving customer experience. We also have to make it easier for them to request assistance with managing their services and introduce new ways to get more meaningful and useful, useful customer data on our services. This is the mission of the new service design team situated in the Office of Service Management and Shared Services. To support UIT staff in creating and delivering seamless and quality services to our customers. But how do we leverage design to provide great service? Design gives us a focus on empathy with our customers and our colleagues. It challenges our assumptions and it asks us to truly listen. Design gives us tools for problem reframing and requirements definition that focus on creating and defining value. Design gives us techniques for collaborative ideation to engage our colleagues and explore new options. And design challenges us to prototype our ideas cheaply and quickly and test those prototypes, failing fast to save time and money on the journey to designing great service. This framework of design thinking is not an abstract concept. It is a set of methods and tools that I aim to bring to our organization through service design. So let's now turn to the future and to this model of service for university IT. Imagine a future where we bridge organizational silos to diagnose the root cause of customer pain by mapping the end-to-end -end of a complex service experience. Imagine a future where we rapidly prototype a new service concept, test that prototype with real clients in the first week, and by week two have iterated on our service concept. Imagine a future where we have the tools to assess service health and maturity across our entire portfolio and a data system for collecting customer feedback throughout the life cycle of a service, enabling us to identify high impact opportunities for improvement. And imagine a future where service design is a core competency of our organization, and we have the tools and resources to be more agile, more human-centered, and more collaborative. This is what I hope the future holds, a new approach for designing for service for university IT. And I look forward to creating that future with all of you. Thank you.